I saw nowadays there's a lot of people has an eyes disorder, especially their sighted. And if a people with an eyes disorder want to read an advertisement board in a public area or want to pick something that they need, of course, they will need a tools such as eyeglasses or contact lens in order to see things clearly. And maybe some of you will think that people with an eye disorder may pick a things by only touching the materials without the tools. Yes, it is true, but let me give you an example. For the example, there's two phones in a table and I don't use my glasses and I just touch it and feel it and I take ones. And actually, I don't take my phones. I take the other things. Maybe I take Farah's phone and it is not mine. So actually, it is the same like a broken-hearted people. <laughs> a broken-hearted people has a wound inside their soul because they cry a lot day over days and they think of one subject only. And if they want to heal their wound, of course, they will also need a tools. And maybe now some of you will think that a broken-hearted people can heal their wound by only picking a guy or a girl that they think can fill their wound now. But we can guarantee that the girls or the guy is the right woman or women for them. Maybe the, the broken-hearted people only think that the boy or the girls is only a subject for escaping from the reality. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nadi Malini and I'm going to share you certain steps that you can use as a tool to heal your broken heart. <laughs> and I want to ask you, what is broken heart is? Yeah, I asked Jumila, what is one word only? Sad. Sad. Yeah, Sadness. it is, it is, the main word is sad. So broken heart is uh, intense emotional about losing something and you might feel depressed of it. And I read one study state that 24% uh, Will feel depressed for about two months, and 23% for about four months, and 16% for about eight months, and 13% for about 25 months of depression. So according to that number, if you are a broken-hearted people, do you want to heal your wound, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I will give you the first step to heal that. First of all, you need to accept the pains itself because if you are ready to accept the face in your life, so you will be ready to face another chances. If in this case, if you want to cry or listen to sad song, please do so. And if you want to, uh, to feel the, the sweet memory previously, please go to some place that you and your ex-partner spend together and you want to get something that reminds you of him, please do so. But at one point, you have to break all of the connection because the point of breaking up is to cut all of the connection between you and your ex-partner. If previously you uh, you listen to that song that reminds you of him, please start to turn off that songs, and you you now need to need to. Uh, if necessary, you need to delete your ex-partner number in your mobile or even block it in your social media because in this point, you have to make a frame for yourself. You have to focus on yourself because once you distract by your ex, you can't be moved on or even forget him completely. And then after you do that, you will need to do the next step that is Fear your relationship from the outside. Maybe you you always refilling the, the, your misery over and over again. Please don't do that. Now you start thinking from the outside of your relationship. You see that maybe uh, you now can see that in your previous relationship you cries a lot and you cry a lot, or he or she may feel annoyed of you. So maybe you can start to think that this is the best decision both of you has made. So you don't need to feel sad again of it and try to find another's, uh, another's activities. And then you now need to take an exercise. Based 
on Dr. Maihena. He, he is a police psychologist, and he said that you need to do this exercise in order to forget someone that has made a big wound in your soul. First, you can take a yoga, and then you start to close your eyes, and then please recall minimum five sweetest moments that you and your ex-partner had done. Uh, feel it, uh, and for the example, your ex-partner standing in front of your house door and make some surprise, bringing you flowers, bucket of flowers, and chocolate. And please remember again, maybe you feel it, you celebrate your anniversary and other things that very, very memorable <laughs> in your minds. And af but after that, please make it those frame it from those memories in a box, and then. In your mind, please uh, assume that those memory only in the box, in the frame, and you take a speedo and you erase all of it until all is blank. After you are ready, then you can open your eyes and take a deep breath. So, uh, uh, according to Professor Montana, <coughs> it is very effective to forget someone. And then you need to understand your emotion. Maybe at some points you will we, we will remember again your memories with your ex partner and you will cry again and but uh, you don't need to just be tough you if you want to cry please cry because it is natural losing somebody that really matters to you uh, especially when they are like half of your life so it will be very very painful. So you need to you need to accept it because uh, the memories is like a people who uh, behind the door knocking you want to deliver a message and if you not open the door the door and they they will still knocking the doors and uh, now you have to understand it and open it but uh, at one point you have to forget it again and then after you understand your emotions you have to appreciate yourself. Uh, because usually a broken hearted people think that they are worthless and hopeless. They think that they are, they are the, miser the most miserable people in the world. But now you can take a mirror and see your reflections, <laughs> smile on it, and maybe you can say that I'm the most beautiful girl in this town, or I'm the most brilliant student in the school because I won some competition, I have many achievements. So I deserve someone who is better than my partner. So you may start to looking for another, uh, seeing another figure beside your ex and start to make uh, channels now because you are ready and you are deserved to a better person. And now is you are living happily after broken heart uh, by joining some uh, activities that makes you happy. And maybe one day you will meet your ex and your ex-partner seeing you as and a brand new person that he will regret it <coughs> inside your heart maybe. Mm -hmm. And I have a quote from Elizabeth Gerber in It Pray Love Movie that uh, she said that experiencing a broken heart uh, is a must because you will understand how it feels and get to learn about it. So here, it is okay you are broken hearted now but you have to put your to have you you have to heal your world as an responsible using uh, by accepting the pains and breaks all of the connections, uh, change your point of view, and then see, uh, understand your emotions and uh, appreciate yourself, and then you have to live happily ever after after you break up. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.